I always have to little wait for that little voice. <laughs> They've added a voice of recording. Thank you, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. God loves you. You're awesome and special. Today, we're going to talk about health and wellness. And we all know, um, as we're going through the minutia of our transitioning from 3 to 5D, much of what we hold... Um, um, necessary for health and wellness is held within that fourth dimensional experience where we're stepping out of old paradigm programs of limitation and fear and control. Um, oh, hi, this is Joanna, by the way. <laughs> Welcome to the Early Morning Ascension Show. Today we're going to talk about health and wellness. We're going to talk about, um, I was channeling the light councils on Metatronic Light and what that is um, and how that assists us in understanding. Metatronic Light will be a big part of our health and wellness, basically, and how that um, helps activate new codes. Um, of experience, understanding the multidimensional systems in the bodies and the fields that we all exist within, um, and how and why we feel the way we do sometimes. Um, we did a quick post this morning, and thank you to Mario for posting that for us. Um, and it was just a really quick, short um, synopsis on um, the health and wellness of who we are as multidimensional beings of light, um, understanding the epicenter of light of who we are, because we've come from programs of such limitation, fear, um, separation of who we are from source, that is the whole separation program. In the separation program of source, we chose to um, travel and navigate our way across diverse experiences of galaxies and creation. To come into a program of um, seeing how we could go as far away from source creator as possible and then find our way back through the, through the inner seeking. That's what ascension for this planet has been about. Planet Earth has been um, a program of, of experiment um, in our separation, in our duality and polarity. And the games that we have all played within the programs through many galaxies, through many timelines, through many planets, through many bodies and forms are what comes up in the now moment in our healing. Um, and why, and this is really important to understand because those of us that are empaths, those of us that are crystals, rainbow children, many of the children that will be born and are waiting to be born within the etheric fields of our, our planet, thank you children, <laughs> that are waiting to be born um, are very high vibrational DNA beings and they're, they're waiting for many things to occur. M much of it is um, inclusivity for our oneness because that inclusivity of our oneness helps raise the vibration of consciousness templates. It does so much. <laughs> It does so much. It's like I said, everything that we offer is a multidimensional experience of the Christ consciousness that is our multidimensional capacity as light matter beings. And we'll explain that in a minute. The Christ consciousness affects all things because it's a multidimensional experience, physical, mental, emotional, etheric, spiritual, all things of all creation that we don't even have words for because we're entering into a paradigm of 5D through which we're remembering and calling in our higher vibrational um, dimensional experiences that again we're anchoring to this matter experience of planet earth who we are as physical beings and becoming more spiritual and that is the metatronic experience the metatronic is the highest vibration of spiritual science that god the divine mind is in the 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 organization if you will and it's we, we use that word loosely and we use it with great um, honor and great reverence for our understanding of who we are as metatronic light, <laughs> Christic consciousness templates and programs of light. And again, it's a very elegant design system and we won't go into it because most of it is far beyond the understanding that most would care to know about. Just understand that everything is a multidimensional, very complex, elegant system of light and vibration. Each and every one of us, each person has a unique higher self, teams and guides and soul the soul is also encapsulated of many other humans on the planet. That's why we have such attraction, such remembrance, and such familiarity with those that might be on the other side of the planet we don't even know, because they're a part of the soul family. They have aspects of similar soul experiences to assist in transcending, overcoming, and helping with in the evolutionary programs of light. However, each person is responsible for the evolution of their epicenter as light, the metatronic Christic consciousness of who they are as spiritual science matter. Some souls and some in the experience of awakening may choose not to awaken. They may choose to take different routes of experience and exploration for their soul's growth. And everything is a moment for moment choice of experience. And it's meant to be that way. Mm -hmm. um, we get into trouble when the ego um, and old programs, if you will, we say programs, it means different things when we say programs. Mm -hmm. 
It's a multi-dimensional experience. In your now moment, we use this for example, in your now moment, we say programs. Programs can be from the earthly experience and programs can be from the multi-dimensional um, akash that you thread with that are coming in to be harmonized in this now moment to find a higher vibrational experience of your now inclusivity and releasing the programs of old that brought that occurrence, that experience in. Remember, everything is vibrational experience. Yes and no. Um, we say vibrational experience. I'm just finding the right. We say experience and it means different things because those of us, it depends on how... Um, how awake you are um, and it has nothing to do with um, we say awake it has nothing to do with as you all know we say it and it's a caveat of all that we offer it has nothing to do with gradation of um, better or less than it isn't <laughs> it's not um, it's not qualitative or quantitative we say awake in that how that person within the soul family and the soul group determines its destiny with source and what it's meant to do here, that piece of the puzzle that each of us are to fit into the greater whole of the puzzle. Because I'm an empath and a crystal and because of the experiences that I've come to expand, explore and express within, the higher vibrational systems and the multidimensional systems, because I also belong to many councils, many systems that are fluiding, fluidically moving within many dimensional conversations of Christic Metatronic light, all threading together in this now moment. And so my now earthly moment needs this experience so that when an occurrence happens, that experience vibration happens, it could open because I have that capacity and so will others. If they're crystal children, Christed children that come as conduits, they have the capacity to feel and to see and to experience those timelines of such um, energy experience, density, trauma, abuse, subjugation, persecution whatever that experience is to be healed and cleared. So in this now moment, in this now moment, as these Akashic timelines, these Akashic experiences, these Akashic vibrations, whatever is coming through in your now moment to deal with from your now reality um, catalyst, something in your reality now will be activating one of those fears from one of those timelines, the Akash timeline, your lineage, anything that you're here that you've taken on as a soul to agree to transcend, transmute, and call it in anew through the self-governance of who you are, through the self-clarity of who you are, through the, the self-confidence of who you are as the epicenter of light and communication and honor that you are spirit, source, spiritual matter, that you know within your awakening, you know within your, your um, wisdom, your mastery as an awakened soul, that all is the harmonization of all timelines, whatever is coming up for you to face and honor and heal and acknowledge as a fear, as a limitation, as anything that is not oneness and inclusivity. But it is, in a sense, in essence, you're just releasing the illusion of it. Because everything is allness, everything is oneness. We're going to say that again in a simpler matter because again there's multi-dimensional stories in what we're offering if there is an experience here on in for anyone this is just a human a human experience <laughs> a 3d vibrational human experience you're going through an experience in your life that causes you fear because of not knowing an outcome, not knowing how something will unfold, fear that you don't have control of the situation or experience or circumstance, which many children feel every day. They feel the collective fear of the planet from the virus and all the things that we've experienced. They don't have any clear indication of positivity and hope and, and cherishedness and sacredness that is being shown to them, that is being um, communicated with them, that is not being lived in sacred communication with them in any of their social platforms and outlets. They're having to um, rely on really nothing because they haven't been taught how to go within and to honor themselves as God. They haven't been taught how to honor the higher self and the sacredness and the spirit within them because it's never been taught or told. Um, they're not being shown of who they are as spirit. So much of what they sense and feel through the grids of the all and their soul's awakening as the all, those fearful experiences call in an experience for them to look at and for them to perceive what, who am I, what's going on, and how do I resolve this? Nothing is being taught in any way about who they are as high vibrational consciousness. Because their intuitive senses, physically, mentally, emotionally, intuitively, 
are opened, they're feeling and sensing and experiencing it on a far grander experience than someone that has shut off their heart chakra and is not in acknowledgement of who they are as a divine sacred being. We're giving this to you as an example of comparison because these children, such as crystals, empaths, rainbow, and, and crystal beings and conduits like myself, when those fear experiences come out and you're just moving through a normal um, family transition, if you will, like divorce or moving from different schools or anything that is a major life transition, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a parent, the loss of a, a dog, you know, anything that is um, in that, 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 that net and that womb of the home, that safety, where they, where they all feel safe and want to feel safe and nurtured and honored and feeling valued and respected. And that's why we go through that daily self-care. We post all the time about how important truth is and honesty and communication and safety of the multidimensional bodies because that nourishes all of the experience that are coming up in the everyday minutia as you're being activated and catalyzed into facing the fears. And they're activated by everyday minutia. It's just meant to. Um, this, uh, again, in the multidimensional program is they're just showing me. Remember the bottleneck we talked about many months ago? Those three, those three um, energies that the collective was moving through, the fear of the unknown, the fear of losing others in our family, and the fear of, I um, can't remember what the other fear was. Um, the fear of the unknown, the fear of where people were gonna be going and what's, what's gonna be happening, the shifting out of vibrations. You know, Things are occurring because it is the shifting out of very varied, vibrational soul stories on what each soul wants to experience and explore. Remember, it's a divine program of elegance. Every soul has its choice through the higher self of what it is here to experience. If there is a soul within your family that wants to experience um, denser orchestration so that it can learn its soul's lesson, then it will do so through the higher self, through God, through all of the programs of light. They're meant to occur in the way that everything is meant to occur and unfold. The, the, the most appropriate and honoring experiences for us just to allow right now we're just opening vessels of who we are as light continuing to self-direct and self-guide and just to allow anything to occur that's meant to occur and listening to your higher self and your higher guidance to direct you on what is meant for you and then releasing the need to control any outcome because again those needs and those desires and those fears and limitations of control are all coming up from other timelines why this is so, so important, why we had to explain it the way we did, because many of the health and wellness minutia that occurs is because A, we are not taught or told any of these things about who we are, what we exist within and what exists within us as multidimensional beings. The fields of light, the etheric field, the cosmic field, um, our emotional intuitive field, harmonizing the male and female bodies, we're in, incredibly integral in the light capacity that we carry, the intelligence that we carry, and how we manage and honor it and balance it is just profound. And we're now stepping into a new level of how to honor and heal and value these beautiful systems of light, metatronic experience that we have potentiation of. We'll explain metatronic in a minute. And so as the now moment continues to occur and these little triggers that happen to everybody and it happens to everybody and it will happen to everybody, that's just the awakening process. As you're being bathed with more light, the cell, micro, macro, as you're being bathed with more um, intention from your higher self, your teams, all of the souls that are working around all of the planet to assist all of humanity to awaken and the grids and our planet, one another, we're helping one another awaken. There's no accident why you hear, read and see and experience what you do because it's your process of the minutia that you're moving in to awaken you deeper to who you are, what you exist within and what exists within you so that you can take greater commandmentship of reclaiming all of your power, reclaiming all of your light, reclaiming all of your energy back to you and understanding that you are the guide, you are the chooser, you are the being that directs and creates your reality. It's sovereignty that we create these higher vibrational templates. Because as we do so, we release all the densities of those fear programs. Remember, programs is a multidimensional experience of what the soul wanted to experience and explore. Programs, taking it outside of the 3D experience to say that the governments are controlling us and whatever other minutia of um, conspiracy theories arise. No, because that's victimhood. And we're now we're claiming our power back. When we say programs, program is anything that the soul chooses in any body, in any form, on any planet that it wants to experience for soul growth. Playing the role of persecutor and persecutee, playing the role of victim and not victim. So they're all things that the soul needs to take accountability for to say, yeah, I can master this. Anything that comes before me, I absolutely get it. I'm one with it. Therefore, it holds no power over you and there's no victimhood. 
And of course, it's not a blanket statement because there's an infinite number of experiences that the soul wants to have. That's why we say program, because the program exists as a multidimensional level because all timelines and everything is now. As you become more awake to the allness of who you are, it's ever more important to do your daily self-clearing, face any energies and triggers that are coming through from your dreams. What did you feel? How did you feel? And how can you resolve that by going within and claiming it as your own? How can you create choices to create greater oneness and inclusivity? Because that's the now healing for our 5D experience. The Christic grid and the Metatronic systems of light, the Metatronic systems of codes is coming into alignment with us as we're awakening to our self-direction and calling in our own inclusivity of the allness, releasing everything of us and them, separation, duality and polarity, and knowing that it is all us. The harmonization of our male and female experiences is us. The, the recognition and the harmonization of light and dark is us. The recognition of the healing of the shadow and the inner child is all us. And those are all of the daily reflections and activations that go off in our reality that allow us to harmonize evermore the presence of who we are as us, the sacred Christic geometry that we are. The sacred Christic geometry that we are within this Christic program, we say Christic pro program outside of all religions, and all of you know that, <laughs> and we've said it many times. The Christic experience, the Christic multidimensional is our multidimensionality potentiality of all that we are in this one known universe and galaxy. Of course, it means different things in different realms in different ways. Well, not so much they're saying in this galaxy. <laughs> our Christ consciousness experience is how we are and who we are as multidimensional beings within the light program through Metatron. The Metatronic science and spiritual experience of who we are is light constantly evolving, constantly pressing out to new evolutionary programs through light and through love, through the divine mind of the mother, father, and the holy creators of all that is. All that is is all that is. Whether it's in a darker program, all that is still, still is all that is. All that is is still part of it. But there are evolutionary programs of the light. And there are people that choose to play not in those programs of the light. However, again, it is still all that is is still God. Mother, father, the creator of all that is. The harmonization of all that we are throughout all galaxies, throughout all of creation as an aspect of the divine mind, mother, father, the heart of God, all the experience that we are to be blessed, to be loved, to be treasured, to be, to be valued. Why we chose this farther outmost experience of polarity and duality, because we are masters. We are the ones that say, no matter what I'm faced with, no matter what activations come through from any galaxy, from any planet, from any experience I've ever had as a soul, I know that through my love, I know that through my breath, thank you spirit, <laughs> I remember who I am as spirit and the center of all that I am as the micro macro as the atom of creation. I am the universe as one and I am inclusive within it all. Within the center of every atom, I am the universe, I am one within it all. And let's breathe on that, it's very important. We're gonna tell you why in a second. Within the center of every atom, I am the center of the love. I am the center of within it all. Thank you, Metatron. Thank you, Metatron. Thank you, Metatron. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> I just threw in a whole bunch there. And so what they, what they shared with me this morning, I've got some channeled notes. This is really important because um, understanding who we are, what we exist within, and what exists within us is the basis of all evolutionary light harmonization. Because when you're asking yourself those three questions, you're constantly allowing yourself to harmonize ever higher platforms of who you choose to be, who your higher self is guiding you in. Remember, you're not on this journey alone. You are becoming your higher self and your higher self is constantly guiding you. And it will always be, how can I accept? How can I honor everything that is before me because it's me? And how can I forgive everything that I'm moving through because it's me? And that's why anything that you get triggered on from any other timeline, I'll give you an example. When I say timelines, the experience of who we are as crystalline beings, as Christic children, hybrid children, empathic and telepathic children, we experience the experience in the allness that it is. So if there's something that's really challenging that's, that's happening in, um, in a collective circle or a soul family, that could be you know, just a normal life transition because it hasn't been expressed in the open dynamic allness of source creator. We've never had those teachings. We've never had those Christic honorings of our allness of spirit, that we're just a continual cycle of oneness, that the spirit is the spirit is the all. The spirit never goes anywhere. You have access to spirit at all times. But in the lower vibrational, we say lower, it's not, again, <laughs> qualitative or quantitative. I'm explaining it to you as the variations of um, societal, programming that each of us take on to clear 
and release and heal so that we can step into a new all now, the inclusivity of now, the inclusivity of all spirit. If our children understand the allness of now and we're constantly communing and communicating the allness of who we are now, then many of their daily experiences that come forward in them that might seem fearful, but then they get to honor it and express it through their sensing of their guidance of who they are and they get to choose how much they want to take on what they can release and what they want to learn from. That's profound. These children understand this, by the way. <laughs> when I'm saying they understand it. When I'm speaking in this, the children understand it at a multidimensional experience. Because they see, as I see, I'm giving this to you as an example, and I'm not saying it as explicitly accurate, because every child is different with every different gifts. Those of you that are empaths, those of you that are um, highly intuitive, those of you that are energy healers, those of you that are grid healers, you understand what I'm talking about to a degree, because you are able to sense and feel and to see things that others cannot, don't seem to be bothered by. And why it's so important that we understand this and honor it and own this and then bring it into our everyday communion, healing, talking, expressing, playing, so that it can be a part of our higher vibrational family experience, inclusivity of oneness for human collective healing. These timeline experiences, if you will, and if there's one or two or three or four timelines that had experiences in um, 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 occultism, sacrificing, um, mind control, a lot of Orion, Maldek um, experiences, um, um, Lyran, early, early Lyran experiences, um, many earth experiences of all mind control, energy control, manipulations, many of the destructions that we've gone through, Lemurian Atlantis. We have, just giving you my specific example, and again, this is not a blanket statement, three or four or five different timelines of this experience, plus persecutory energy timelines. If you've been persecuted for your spiritual gifts and your spiritual witchcraft used in a positive and loving manner for healing, all of these experiences are culminated um, in, um, if you're going through a fearful moment right now of uh, a family transition of you know, divorce or um, a family pet has died or um, moving through uncertainty to what's coming. Because we're all going into the fifth dimension, every single soul on this planet will have to face these experiences not knowing what's coming next. That's why those of us are on the front lines to say, hey, there's nothing to worry about. It's all beautiful. Um, we, can, we can perceive things with great hope and, and perseverance and persistence because we understand the elegance of source. We understand who we are as spirit. But still, those of us that are conduits, I can feel those five and six and seven timelines. I can see them in visions. And what they were showing me this morning, that if the physical body, the person, has an emotional, um, has an emotional um, ineptness, meaning they have not had um, growth, they have not had maturity, they have not had healing practice in honoring and owning their emotional body, um, then they're there are many experiences that can be occurred when these timelines of destruction and great trauma and great abuse have occurred in mind control, victimization, and so on. But most, however, cannot see to the depths and the, to, the, to the expansiveness that I can. I'm bringing it forward to explore and express through part of our healing. And when you can see auras, when you can see into the Akash, you know how to heal it because you can see the densities and what's going on in the emotional body. And so, but these experiences can cause far grander in this now moment, anxiety and trauma and the person being confused because they don't understand why they feel so much anxiety for something that others would think that, well, your pet just passed away or you lost your job and you're not sure what's coming next. Any of those daily traumas and experiences and psychoses are linked to other vibrational experiences in the Akash that obviously nobody talks about. Nobody talks about the healing of black magic and what's done in those experiences. Nobody talks about various ways of mind control, manipulation, emotional control that occur on this planet. Nobody talks about them and how to heal them. And so, here we begin, it's very exciting. <laughs> how we understand this, that some are ultra sensitive, crystals, empaths, hybrid children, all of these beings are, are ultra sensitive. And then we have the extra experiences on our outer reality, if you will, that are also adding to the confusion and to the temperance that is required, like 5G, um, you know, obvious negative social um, programming and fear programs from, you know, news and um, whatever is going on in the outside world to, to add greater imbalance. And this is why it's really important that we talk about every day and remind you every day. 
regardless of what's going on in the outside world, shut it off, <laughs> shut it off because it just complicates and confuses and adds um, extra noise to what doesn't need to be. I've gone through what I have so that I can come through and teach and honor it so that we can create systems of preparation for all of these children that will require healing, re-communion and re-understanding of who they are, what they exist in and what exists within us, those that so desire it's always free will, of course. And to know that there are ways that we can heal and come back to center so that you're only calling in what you create and what you need for your unique healing. And it doesn't have to um, culminate into um, really damaging experiences that are, you know, through substances, self-harm, and all the things that occur when nobody's talking about what's going on. <laughs> you know, nobody's talking about, um, you know, the fear that, that some of the kids and, and, and others feel because they are very empathic and they can sense things that others just can't. Um, and why, when you say to an empath, oh, you're so sensitive, empaths stand up and say, damn right, and I'm the one that assists in seeing things that others can't and feel the things that others can't so we can bring greater vibrational healing because there will be a point in another year where everybody will be awakening to their multidimensional gifts and, and psychic abilities, intuitiveness, and all of their fields. We have a myriad of multidimensional fields that we exist within. These fields can sense and receive and send information at a capacity that others are, again, when we say others, we only are using this because those of us that are awake and empathic and tuned in at a highly psychic experience are evaluating our life. And no, we're not out of the ordinary. We're not out of the norm. We are absolutely meant to be where we're meant to be because we are the ones that are helping others heal and understand their bodies when they awaken, when their bodies are turned on, when they've released enough density to know who they are as spirit. Everybody will have to go through it. Those of us are here as empaths and crystals to experience at a highly sensitive experiential um, um, manner because we're here to communicate, we're here to teach, we're here to explore and express the experience of God, the experience of energy, the experience of who we are as light because that's what we're becoming. So some of us have to be on that front gate to say, these are who we really are. And how do we begin lifting all of our experiences at a higher vibrational intelligence so that we start really honoring every cell, every atom as metatronic? We are infinite beings of, of light. <laughs> so how can we begin to honor it? How can we begin having higher vibrational communion and connection of our multidimensional allness and include our allness and begin healing and honoring it in various daily activities of expression? of experience and exploration so that we maintain our harmonization every time we have grand light packets and grand ascension cycles so that when those fears come up from all those other timelines, when those activations come up from other timelines, five or six different traumatic timelines and everybody's going to go through it, <laughs> that you understand in your daily now trigger that seems to be abnormal in, you know, it's, um, it's importance, you know, it could be, you know, um, someone slighting you or a constant experience where people in your family are not respecting your voice or respecting your word. Those everyday minutiae are commonizing in one of your soul's theme to speak your spiritual truth. And you will continually be triggered in the outside manner, if you will, that seem fairly small, but are all connected to the theme of who you are as a, as a speaker of light, as a speaker of spiritual truth. And you're meant to activate that and clear all the densities that you attract into you so that you see yourself from this higher perspective of metatronic light because that experience and speaking it and standing in it and being in it you allow others to level up as well or not and it'll all be shifting out those that don't want to level up those that don't choose to awaken it's all fine and perfect too because again it's all part of the perfect puzzle that is source and all vibrational experiences will be shifted out and arranged vibrationally and that's up to source and creation it's not up to any one person to control any other person's path or destiny um, and this is where those experiences of other timelines through the use of mind control, um, um, occultism and black magic, where there were things that were done without the right use of free will. This is the timeline where we get to actually correct it now. And many of us that have been through many, many traumatic timelines, we've called it through the time. It's called the time ran out, the time ran out weave healing, meaning that all of the corruption that had taken place at the crucifixion of the Christ they are now being rewoven and corrected. 
because now we have the highest intelligence and the highest capacity to understand multi-dimensional activations in our now harmonization. We have those experiences of fear. We have those experiences of trauma. We have those experiences of abuse and, and withholding. We have those experiences of subjugation and grand um, limitation and mind control. We have those experiences every day and they're very subtle and some are very profound. Those of us that are crystals and empaths feel it and can see it and can sense it and have visions and dreams about it. Five or six or seven different timelines and lifetimes, different planets, different forms, different bodies. And it's very, very traumatic. So if we're not understanding who we are as multidimensional allness, then it's hard for us to have the capacity to heal for our children and have them be a part of this collective harmonization that it's very profound. And sometimes the thing that you, things that you sense and feel and know and sense or have visions of or have dreams of, part of that daily self-care is to bring it to the forefront and understand that there might be a small piece, small packet, and it's all about the inclusivity of you as the master that you are to love it and to accept it whole and to find ways that you can navigate around the other experiences within that, like this morning. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. I know this might seem very grand and vast, and it is, because again, they're showing me that what I'm saying is very profound in its expansiveness of the story of what we're all going through based on where you're at in your awakening, your temperament and your pacing, and what your gifts are here to, to move within and help others within. And so I have that capacity to see and sense and to know things at a deeper height and experience than others. And why now I'm honoring myself and my emotional body and my intuitiveness. Because it matters. It all matters. <laughs> I'm here to sense and feel things for a reason. And I'm no longer going to apologize for it or be, um, you know, be hidden in the corner about it or wanting to play small about it. I feel things at this level because I'm here to teach about it. Because we're expansive intelligence. And nobody's ever taught us about these things to take ownership and bring it up to a new level. The children need it of us. Their DNA is far grander than we've ever given ourselves credit for and them credit for. And there's no healing modalities in our social experience for them. How are, we, how are we being of service to them in that? And it's really simple and easy that we can just integrate these beautiful daily simple little things for our families and for our children as we're transitioning from 4D, the emotional healing of it all, which is where all the juice happens. <laughs> That's where you really um, you know, stretch out all that gray, that areas of gray, really get into the emotional body and heal it. Because they said to me that, um, let me get my channel. I wrote it on a few different pieces here. Um, what was I going to say about the empath, um, my teams? As a crystal empath, thank you. As a crystal and a crystal, crystic empath, it is the telecommunications experience at the Christ consciousness, meaning that the consciousness that is fed and experienced through all life forms. So the grids and the flora and the fauna and animals and um, um, obviously humans and are also our um, Akash celestial timelines that we all encompass. And why those of us that are um, intuitive healers, the Christ consciousness healer, when we um, have our clients, we call forward all of their um, now Remember, through the higher self and the soul, whatever is required at the now to come forward to be um, accelerated into harmonization. Like when I'm with a client, there's portals that are opened between me and the higher self and the souls to see what timelines are in this now moment to be, to be harmonized. And harmonize means that you're just accepting yourself at a greater capacity level so that you can bring your greater capacity gifts forward. Because many, through those timelines of traumas, you've had fears of using your gifts, of being your gifts, of expressing your gifts because there was trauma and persecution or death involved. And so when we call in the multidimensional healings of all that we are, why you go through what you do and why you have those fears that you do at the very same time. That's what those triggers are occurring for because you're a multidimensional being of greatness. And those greatness energies also um, come with the traumas and the fears and what's held you back, limitation, polarity, duality. So when you call it in, because it's often confusing because no one's ever taught about that, there's those, those of us that are the healers, that are the teachers, that can say, well, this is what's coming in your timeline. These are the blocks and the restrictions that you hold right now, so let's, let's suss things out to see how to transcend those blocks and move into a place of acceptance. And that's what we offer as Christic healers through the Akash and through the vibrations of sacred sound and sacred tones and using various things to assist in whatever the teams are showing me that will work for each client in healing and moving forward. And so that's what I offer for those of you that so desire for a private session, the links will be below. And we're getting our um, 
our web page should be available next week. It'll just be a simple landing page. <laughs> um, I've been working in, um, since our last website was closed down. Um, we've just been working from our YouTube and from our Facebook. And everybody's been so great, thank you. And right now, just, for, just so that you know, um, I'm, um, I'm fully booked for Glyph um, activations. So um, I won't be doing Glyphs for another two weeks. So if you wanted to send me in um, an order for Glyphs, um, then just know that it will be at least a two week um, turnaround for those of you that so desire. And the link for that is below as well. Okay, so let's talk about cellular and atomic why it's so important for us as being multidimensional, who we are, what we exist within, why it's so important for the family transitioning when children are going through their awakening, you're going through it, vice versa. When you go through an activation, you are leading them into greater light programs. So just know that. If you are, um, um, so for instance, my teams have always said that when you go through your DNA activation, a few days later, your children will go through an activation as well because you are the one that is heading the light, if you will to activate them through what you as the head of the family are participating in the potentiation of expansiveness. And so again, um, we return the honor to our parents and help them ascend and help them heal as we're healing this now moment. The past is healed and the future is healed and we now activate and catalyze anew. And so that's what the now moment of healing is um, and why it's so important that we begin talking and creating these new higher vibrational healing experiences for, for everyone because everybody will eventually have access, full access and full capacity to experience, explore and express themselves in the unique puzzle piece that they are, with the gifts they are, the old soul um, attributes and skills that they are, and the wisdoms that they offer for the all. Everybody's here for a unique purpose and reason and source creator has that piece of the puzzle. But one cannot find that if one is not going within and seeking thyself. So the outside stuff cannot get you to who you are within. And that's why our society and everything within our socio-economic system is now going to be socio-altruistic because that is the only fulfillment of the spirit. The spiritual evolution is the one inclusivity of who we are as spirit, the oneness, the oneness, the inclusive metatronic oneness. And why we will be going for more self-healing and self-accentuating, um, um, self-loving and self-honoring, the blessing of the self, the self-caring of the self, the honoring of the self, the communication of the whole self, blessing it through the emotional body and healing the emotional body. So this is what they said to me and why the emotional body is so very important to continued 5D acceleration because most of the 3D polar polar systems, especially through various dogma, have such staunch beliefs in separatism of source and spirit that they cause great chaos and dysfunctionality between the whole self of who we are and why we must look at systems that degrade who we are as spirit, not taking our full sovereignty as spirit, which is what many of the masters like the Christ came to offer and show and present to us. And then religions were written around it <laughs> to kind of control um, that aspect of um, many of the sacred teachings that had nothing to do with anything that was supposed to be organized. It was meant to be that we are infinite beings of sacred light. And that metatronic system of light is constantly being upgraded, constantly expanded within, and constantly being woven into new programs. And why many of us that are moving upon our ascension path that have been awake for many, many years are accelerating and pulling in the timeline gifts that will be used in high vibrational systems that are now being awakened to because we're at a point. I mean, this is so exciting. I could go on forever. Because we're at a point right now where the timelines are really, truly ex um, really um, have the potential for us to really go in a myriad of different, really incredible directions. Those of us that have, um, you know, varied gifts and tools and really old souls that we've come here with so many different timelines, like I've just expressed, not everybody can express what I've just expressed in the way that, that um, I have offered. And again, it's only my expression. It's not saying there's anything right or wrong with anything. It's just, these are my unique expressions of who I am as a Christ consciousness being that has many, many lifetimes here that has come back through the multiverse to serve the mother in honoring, thank you mother, in honoring new light programs through the metatronic systems of light and the heavenly councils of light to prepare for expansive evolutionary programs that are coming for earth and many galaxy councils and many galaxies and the omnipresent, again, micro macro. And why it's so exciting that we're now awakening through new waves of minutia, new waves of excitement, new waves of potentiation. So really, really take hold of it and get excited about who we are because this is when the fun begins. We get to really start, um, really start anchoring those gifts that we've earned over many, many lifetimes and becoming more and more full in who we are. 
Um, and it's okay if you, they're saying that it's okay if you listen to this a few times because there's so much that is impacted in this um, offering that we're doing today. So please feel free to go back and listen to it. There was many gifts and um, codes and wisdoms that we're offering through Joanna today, through me, thank you. And so we're gonna talk about the cellular membrane. The cellular membrane, the membrane that is held, um, it kind of holds the cell, it's a membrane that's held around the cell and it has the DNA of who we are, which is the uniqueness of who we are and we get activated within the activation of the DNA that occurs within the bodies of who we are and the experience of who we are as matter. And that experience is for us as individuals. There are timely DNA activations, but if you're taking commandmentship and sovereignty of who you are, that DNA activation with your soul and your teams can be on a process and on a pathway. And again, it has nothing to do with having to get somewhere or do anything because that's egoic. It has to do with your purity of love of who you are. So if you're not doing it in that way, then you absolutely know that there's ego that must need to be healed. Because ascension is not about doing and getting and, you know, being the best at. That's not what ascension is about or getting there faster or skipping the steps because that's not what it's about. It's about just falling in love with being the master and the commander of who you are as light and honoring that you are able to heal you are able to activate, you are able to reorganize, you are able to refine, you are able to reinvent all that you are as matter. And it must be from the purity of your heart because your spirit teams and your guides will, will always show you. If you choose to experience your acceleration in the egoic way, your teams will keep popping you back until you learn the lesson. Your teams will, won't, <laughs> spirit and your teams won't allow you to accelerate and skip steps. And that's where those programs on those timelines of mind control and altering energy and you know, occultism and spell work and all of those things, because there were those that wanted the results without going through the understanding of the purity of who you are as love. It was egoic, it was get, get, do, do, and be the best, win, 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 lose. And so we're now, we're now understanding that it is about win, win, compromising and living in the oneness and the inclusivity of it all. And those that are, you know, continue that, they'll go back to those cycles until the lesson is learned because you must live from the heart. And that is the purity of the story of Merlin and the gifts that Merlin had and why that sword is still in the stone. And there's stories that I've written about that many times. <laughs> Thank you, Merlin. Master Merlin is one of my guides. Thank you, Master Merlin. I have my own, um, my own understanding of that story. And those of you that have been with us for many, many years have already heard that. So thank you. Okay, so here we go back. So the Adam means, from Metatron this morning when I was channeling Metatron in the Councils of Light, the Adam means the inclusivity of one's allness. That's what the Adam is really about. The Adam is of the highest experience that source the divine mind is through Metatron, creating the scientific physics of all that is, <laughs> the spiritual physics of all that is. And that Adam is the basis of who we are as allness. And that atom is our allness of inclusivity of love. And if it's dealt with in any other way, and why we've, ex again, why we've experienced those timelines of destruction and why they have to come forward in our everyday life so that we can own it, we can honor it. Everything that happens in our outer reality, anything that's happening in our outer world that we tend to judge and we tend to separate, we must call it in and face it and call in our oneness of it. Because they're calling on all of those other timelines where destruction was occurred. And this timeline is different. That's why. The mastery of your healing, the mastery of all of these timeline um, experiences that are called up and experienced in different ways that can be very traumatic and unnerving and very high anxiety. For those of us that are empaths, crystals, high vibrational healers and, and teachers, because not a lot of this is taught out there on what is experienced in the everyday empathic experience. When you have traumatic experiences like that and you've had other timelines where you've experienced that, it can be quite confusing because the timelines are meshing. And if you're not held within the center and the grounding of who you are with spirit, knowing who you are with spirit, knowing that you're in the commandmentship of who you are, knowing that you walk with God, those timelines get kind of meshed and confused. And then you, you are left hanging, well, I thought I was creating this, this, and this, and yet this is coming up in my experience and I'm feeling you know, flusters and confused. And then you're seeing the, the behavior of others and how they're mirroring the projections and the fears of those energy timelines that just need to be cleared and owned and accepted, making peace with it, making peace with the persecutory energies, making peace with the us and them energies, making peace with the victimization energies and call it in and just make peace with it. As the 12th dimensional creator said to me, and Jesus said, <laughs> 
their, their culminating sentence was, is that you are an eternal being. Your soul wants to have vast experiences on every, every experience of, of navigational vibration. That's God's gift to you. God says, you're a, you're a being of mine and you have access to experience whatever you so choose as free will to choose and experience. Everybody has timelines where there was trauma occurred, where you were the abuser or the abused. And so everybody has these experiences and these vibrations in their psyche to heal. Now, depending again, this is why we as vibrational healers and Christic conduits have the ability to know and to sense and to feel. Depending on what capacity you've come to teach, to heal, to be a part of the collective honoring, the collective healing, your own soul's experience and expression will determine how much and how deep you experience those traumas. For me as a Christed healer, as a teacher, as one on the front lines, it's not fun. It's not fun. I could tell you the, the things that happened in Star Wars, they're actually real things. And I can see into them. They're not fun. And when you think watching a movie and actually experiencing it in your real reality, it's, it's traumatizing. This is why I, I often bring forward, what are we exploring as a creative collective? And what vibration are we sending to the children when we think that this is a normalized experience? Yes, it comes from other planets and other galaxies, but how can we raise the vibration of who we are as intelligent beings of spirit and matter? Because if you experience any of those things, any of those things, as a visionary, as a conduit, you can feel into the traumas of those grids and those timelines. They're not fun. And if you don't know who you are, <laughs> you are not grounding and you are not being present and you have not dealt with your emotional body. Your emotional body has not been grounded into your physical body. Your, your emotional body has not been grounded into your cosmic, etheric, omnipresent body. And if you are not harmonized and working as a harmonized body and a vessel as one, and you are not in loving commandmentship of who you are, that's, that's, that's psychosis. That's when you have those psychotic breaks and you're not sure what's going on and you're not sure where you are and you're not sure, sure who you are. Because those vibrational shifts when those timelines are getting sewn and woven back together, if you don't know that now is a new timeline, now I choose from my Christhood, now I choose from the allness of who I am, now I choose from the sovereign being of who I am, now I have commandmentship of my body, now I choose from the highest essence of who I am. And this is why what is, what is going on in the multidimensional allness of our collective in multidimensional ways, physical, mental, emotional, and etheric, psychiatry and um, counseling are going to take on a whole new arena of potentiation because we're going to understand multidimensional threading of now. Because this includes not just now in this timeline when something nominal or minimal happened to you in your experience and yet in your multidimensional experience it feels catastrophic. And that's just honoring and clearing out the daily bodies. Bathe and cleanse the fields with holy light, please. I ground in who I am as a multidimensional being. I'm absolutely in harmony of who I am as a divine male and a divine female. And I use my will and my intention and my nurturance to bring love and light to myself now. I ground in the promise of who I am. I ground in the clarity of who I am. I ground with the intention and the knowingness of who I am and what reality I create. I create through peace. I create through knowing, I create through the health and wellness of who I am. And I am absolutely understanding that I'm a high vibrational multidimensional being and I can feel and sense things in ways that are far beyond what are ever taught and ever known through, through traditional counseling and, psychosis, and psychosis um, healings. And this is where we must understand we can take ourselves to new levels and honor it all and bring it all into a new vibrational up leveling of what the children experience and how they feel so unsafe and why they often take, um, you know, they take their cycles of harm and self-harm to figure out who they are because they're, they have to release that, that density and that negativity that they feel and they sense from everybody around them and everything around them. They need that expressive outlet. And so bringing in those high vibrational, creative, expressive outlets for them to be constantly in tune with Gaia to release um, as much of the 5G as possible and get outside and reorganize the structures of the multidimensional bodies and the DNA and the atoms and all that we are as Christic matter. Um, and so there's many easy and beautiful things that we can do, but why so many feel the expansiveness and the, um, the vastness of what's going on and bring it back to the center and just breathe it out. Breath is so important to reduce the stress on the sympathetic systems. Calming the heart oh, and ground, 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 ground. Feel your feet going into the sand. 
all that matters is right now. I'm feeling the expressiveness of who I am as a multidimensional being. There might be five or six timelines that are coming forward in this fear. What is it at the core of the fear that's going on? The fear of the unknown. Okay. Well, all I need to know that right now I am safe. There might be in the visions and why I ask children every morning what they dream, what was in their dreams and talk through their dreams with them. Get them to express their point of view and get them to um, validate their own experience. Have them be okay with their experience. Most of the time when I'm wanting to help my children through the experience, because we think parents know all the answers and sometimes we do, but it's up to them to experience and have the um, permission to experience their reality. My, my guides are often telling me that when I call in their higher selves and their guides, how can I help them? And they often tell me, just let them have their experience. There's a reason why they're going through what they're going through because they will unfold their unique dynamic piece of the puzzle in their own unique timing. And it's up to us to honor them as masters, not to think we have to solve it for them or direct them into any one avenue because then we're using old paradigms of control for best reasons. Oftentimes we do it for the highest and for the best, but for the highest and for the best is just assisting them in holding space. And so they showed me a while ago is that encouragement, inspiration, and empowerment is the best way that we just hold space for them. Allow them their experience. Allow them to work through the challenges and the navigations of the energy. Allow them to be at peace with that. You can get through this. I believe in you. When, you. when you sit before them, and this is what creates those timelines, remember, that when we're shifting from old to new, that they come as masters, know them as masters. They're here to experience and explore all navigational energies. They are masters in their free will and free choice and remind them of that, empower them of that, inspire them of that. They are masters of free will and free choice. They have directorship of their body and their health and their wellness. They have directorship that where they choose to take their energy and their bodies is what they will experience. So express to them the communion of who they are, a spirit and Christ consciousness that direct their higher self back to their higher self. That their choice within themselves is how they direct their reality and empower them, inspire them, hold space for them, see them as the master that they are. Because seeing them as the master that they are, as a mother and as a parent, automatically, <laughs> you know, with all, with all, um, all, all due respect to our old parenting system that we were shown, <laughs> controlling the parents and telling parents telling the children what to do and what to do, and you're seen to be not heard, kind of thing, does nothing for the individual spirit. When you see and know your children as being masters that they are, and they are absolutely directing their life, it feels so much better than sitting up all night long worrying about them and just creating those worrisome timelines, because that's all you're doing. Where you direct your focus and your intention is where those timelines are created. You're just culminating and recycling old patterns. So you're meant to step out and come into this now. Oh, my children are such masters. <laughs> they absolutely know what they're doing. They have ab all access to source. They have all access to the wisdoms of their bodies, and I'm sending them great light and great love. They can do anything. They have the choice within them, the freedom within them. And I'm breathing for their freedom and for their liberation. They absolutely will have access to their higher self. They will absolutely know their access to their highest guidance. And we're creating the best timelines for one another because as I move upon my dreams and my expansiveness and I know who I am as divine health and wellness and sacredness and harmony with all that I am, I'm showing them the balance that they so can too. And doesn't that feel better than worrying <clears throat> and putting them in a place of less than or lack and they can't do it? They absolutely can. Take the fear out of the picture. That's for us to heal, release all fear. The children are masters. Let's start treating them as masters. How could we have gone as far as we can if we were treated as masters when we were younger? We wouldn't have, we'd have gone through all of the middle age crises. <laughs> and that's all that was. The middle age crisis was an old verbiage of the spiritual awakening. But now people are spiritually awakening at any age. This is meant to. We're meant to be evolving beings of light. Not to wait till you're middle aged and then you figure out who you are. No, we've always been spirit. <clears throat> pardon me thank you and so if the emotional body is not grounded in its knowing of its allness and censored into and centered into the now remember now and grounding is so important no matter what's happening on the outside world as we accelerate harmonize all of your bodies all of your consciousness all that you are breathe 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 ground and be centered the emotional wounds causing the breaking in the communication systems and the realities become blurred, like I explained earlier. Why well, I explained earlier what I did, because this channel from Metatron makes it understandable. Those of us that are conduits and empaths see, can see, feel, and sense other timelines in a greater capacity than others can. 
and why we have those three or four days where we just have to self-soothe, we have to reorganize ourselves in nature, we have to create those new intentions with Gaia, with our teams and our God self, and to be redirected in the highest capacity because those timelines were very deep, dense, and and rich in vibrational experience that we have to reorganize, reharmonize, and come to a higher vibrational knowing of who we are. Because that was a lot of density and a lot of trauma that we have to re re restructure into a now higher vibration. <clears throat> and it is refinement. It's multidimensional refinement that you're being hit with as an empath. And why empaths don't live the life that we used to live. We don't. We must have many days of hermit experience more often than not we need a very quiet life we need lots of nature and we need to you know heal the sensitivities that we have and others that are appreciating and valuing of us in that because we are here to sense and he and feel things at a capacity that heals our collective they were showing me recently um many um months ago i think <clears throat> there was many, many timelines and traumas of, um, of mind control that we were dealing with in our galaxy because everything in our galaxy is a now moment. <laughs> Why we feel things at greater intensities because they're not only this earth timeline, there's many timelines on many planets. And there was many experiences that were trying to pull at and change and warp the timelines. And those had occurred in the, in the um, you know, at the time of the Christ um, when there was infiltration into those timelines. Um, you know, for, for selfish reasons of other, you know, groups and um, that were wanting those experiences. Um, but those timelines are no longer. But why the, the, some of us have those great fears that came up and have to clear and heal that are unexplainable and nobody talks about it. It's not being taught or told. But those of us that are empaths that have experienced all of those timelines have been here in various roles and forms in those timelines. When those experiences on a cyclical pattern come out at a galactic now, we always find that the summer solstice equinoxes are usually psych cyclically timed through those many um, timelines of great um, control. Because again, what we're healing on this planet is a micro macro to the galaxy and to the universe, to the omnipresent. So just know that. And those of us that have come forward from the omnipresent, um, I've come from a multiverse perspective. This timeline showed me that I came forward from another universe to assist with the light programs for the Holy Mother, to uplift the Divine Feminine, to uplift the wisdoms that were held and um, banished from the Divine Feminine, because the Divine Feminine is required to balance to heal our planet, because it has been out of, out of balance for thousands of years through egocentric driven programs. And I say programs at a multidimensional level. Again, control, fear, mind control, energy control, and all those things that control. <laughs> you know, we're changing the program now. It is oneness. It is inclusivity. It is how can we live in symbiosis of one another? How can we go beyond and be in that inclusivity of light? And why? There's a far elegant system and program to know that all you need to do is focus on you. All you need to do is focus on your self-guidance, your self-internal compass, who you are as the Christ, who you are as spirit and God. And all of the external experiences will just be sorted out and sussed out with source creator and all of those, the program leaders and managers. <clears throat> we say managers very loosely. It's not what we think in the old paradigm of hierarchy because it's not. Source knows what source is doing. You just got to do you. <laughs> do you and your contract with source. That's it. You have unique gifts, you're an old soul, you're coming forward with unique experiences. And so that is your commandantship, your bodies, your experience, your timeline. There you go. So we'll say that again. If the emotional body is not grounded into the knowing of its allness, remember your multidimensional allness, that's what we talk about in all, in all of our offerings. So to know that, to work with that, to heal that, to be that. And centered into your now, if you're not centered into this now, and you're, you're, you're living in the higher realm experiences, not grounding yourself, that is when it, you can have those psychotic breaks because you're not grounding into the body of what is being harmonized and activated. Remember when you have those ascension activation, it opens up. It opens up five or six different timelines that you don't understand what's going on. You have dreams and you can see things and you can hear things and know things and your now reality doesn't make any sense because nobody's talking about this. So again, we'll say it again, this is really important. If the emotional body is not grounded into the knowing of its allness and centered into the now, the emotional wounds 
causes the breaking in the communication systems, the sympathetic system, your communication to who you are, what you are, and what your reality is all about. It totally confuses the reality, experience, and perspective. Because remember, perspective is everything. <laughs> your perspective creates your reality. It breaks, it causes the breaking in the communication systems and your realities become blurred. So again, whatever is being called from whatever traumas and whatever wounds that are being triggered by your now moment reality, your everyday nine to five routine, whatever we call it, it's now changing and shifting. It's not going to be that anymore. It's an open now 5D reality. Your realities can become blurred and you become confused. And therefore, a lot of the experiences of just not wanting to be here and then causing depression, anxiety, suppression um, of the emotional body, which then becomes even worse. You become more cycles of suppression of the emotional body. So why the emotional body is so very key to call forward and to call in and work with every single day of your daily clearing and healing. So if you have inner childhood traumas from your emotional body when you were a child, and these accelerations of our new earth are continuing to come upon us because they are and they will, then those emotional wounds can and will, depending on, again, what your soul contract is here, what your role is here and your piece of the puzzle to play, and um, the acceleration path that you are on and the role that you're here to help with, if those wounds are not connected and grounded in this now and worked on and, tra and transmuted, remember, everybody's responsible for their own wounding and their healing of that, to reaching out to the community, reaching out to others, asking for help, um, speaking up when you know that things are being sensed and, and experienced, Expressing yourself as freely and as openly as you can. Those are beautiful ways to begin that healing process. To know that you are a multidimensional being. You can feel things far greater and grander than you ever thought. And so too can the children. So how do we begin healing it? And it's through the emotional body. Emoting is how we manifest our pure oneness, honoring, balance, and healing of our allness. Because these timelines will continue to come into our oneness. And they're reminding me, I have all the glyphs all over my body. I now have them on my leg. And every day I wake up, I see something new. Because that is the multidimensional allness that I'm calling in all of those aspects of me throughout my allness, throughout all timelines. They're reminding me, yes, I'm a, com I'm a capacity of all beings, of all experiences, of all versions of bodies and templates. And I want that. Because then, as I'm awakening to it, as I'm aware of it, and as I'm working with it, I have the capacity, again, as we said yesterday or this morning in our post, we are the epicenter of multidimensional communication as spirit. That's why we want those healings. That's why we want to have the emotional body healed and cleared and cleansed because we want to have that higher vibrational emotion of our allness. We want to know that I'm connected with all things. I'm included in all things. I have bodies and forms and experiences and wisdoms and intelligences of all things, of all worlds, of all templates. And I'm here to anchor it in this beautiful, diverse world because make no mistake about it, the children already know that. We just haven't given them anything to come forward and express it freely as. And so they're feeling very suppressed and confused and why they often go to self-harming experiences. See what we're saying? Because what they know to be within the emotional body is just one form of communication of who they are within the world, what they exist within, and what they truly are. And if that is not being up-leveled, because they're down here at a high vibrational experience and yet their world is showing them that there is absolutely no teaching or honoring of it. And so they feel as if they don't fit and they don't want to be here. All of us feel that as empaths, all of us feel that as crystal children, because we feel as if that the world outside of us is not showing us anything that we know to be true of what's going on within us. Because we can feel it, we can sense it, we can see it. We, can, we see things that people, that others don't. That we can feel it within our bodies, within our fields. We're sensing the telepathic communication. We are sensing the psychic communication. We are sensing the communication within the flora and the fauna. We are sensing the communication within the grids. We are sensing the communication within any areas of land that have had trauma, any areas of land that have great celebration, any areas of land that are high vibrational and vortices. We can feel it and sense it. There's communication there. And so let's bring it all up to a higher vibrational level and breathe. We are profound beings of intelligence and light and, and dynamic experience. We just are. And breathe. I honor who I am today. I honor who I am today as the inclusivity of my allness. All bodies that I've ever taken, all forms that I've ever taken, and I want to bring straightforward, open, loving, gentle communication about who I am. In all moments, I want to be able to know that my emotional body is so very valuable to who I am as a psychic, telepathic, empathic, compassionate being of light. And I get to sense into the intelligence that's in all things that is light. 
ever greater light begets ever greater light and ever light begets greater intelligence and wisdom and expansiveness to the purity of my heart just be joyful and experiencing it that is your ever evolving experience it must be through the heart are you in love with who you are are you in love with accepting everything that unfolds can you accept those traumatic moments and say those were my timelines i'm making peace with it and everybody before me is an aspect of me that i'm calling in to include in my story it's all one i forgive all stories of us and them light or dark i give i forgive all stories that are feeling confusing and out of the ordinary i forgive it all and ground feel your feet going into the sand feel your feet going into the sand as if you're a tree anchoring into earth anchor into earth anchor into earth take a deep breath that whatever unfolds in my reality i absolutely know i am commander of it and i can break away all the noise you can do this if you're feeling overwhelmed and anxious about all the energy that's in your field that doesn't need to be there take a deep breath I'm calling in the Christic light and I'm asking my teams and the highest heavenly councils and the highest heavenly healers as I ground in this breath to the Holy Gaia as I'm grounding all that I am I'm asking the Christhood I'm asking my teams and I'm asking the angels to please bathe the way any energies any entities any experiences thought forms or projections that are in my field and in my bodies that do not serve my highest and my best I choose to release them now I choose to release it now I choose to release it now everything within my bodies and my fields that is not meant to be there for my highest and my best release and transmute now through the holy christ thank you through the holy christ now through the holy christ now and up and down and up and down i am cleared and i am cleansed through the holiest of energies of light and love for i am the commander of my experience and my consciousness belongs to me my devotion of love belongs to me i get to direct my ship of love and light for me and I can say no to energies that are harmful. I can say no to energies and thought projections that do not serve me. And I can bathe and cleanse my field with the highest of light. And through breath, I activate this. And I can come down to a simple, <sighs> centered, <sighs> balanced presence. That's powerful. And you just feel lighter. And take several moments a day, several times a day, especially when you're going through big, profound cycles like full moons, new moons, cycles of equinoxes or solstices, and do extra clearing, extra self-soothing, go into nature, forest bathing, be in a lake, be in the ocean, just to clear and cleanse any of the extra noise and the um, energy thought projections, 5G, all of those things. Shungite is really good to... Um, create a higher balance with the 5G experiences that so many kids, there's also 5G stickers, um, Shungite stickers that you can get for all devices and electronic devices. There's grounding pads that you can use for your high vibrational children um, that really, really help them reorganize their structures of their multidimensional bodies and cellular structure within, um, and just helping them become reoriented back to earth and their cellular structure within as a high vibrational um, structure um, within and without. Um, so that really helps breath grounding and centering is so important so that you're not getting caught up in the multi-dimensional confusion if you have a lot of emotional wounds that have not yet been healed acknowledged or released and transmuted and it's really really important for those that are healers for those that are high vibrational um, um, they're saying constituents of leadership <laughs> because we're here to to offer, or again, we're going into um, vibrational templates that we've never experienced before that we don't have words for. But we're here to constantly offer the highest multidimensional capacities that we're here to release the um, limitations from the lower mind and vibrationally harmonize with the higher mind. Because the higher mind knows, the higher mind is just using it in this now body, all has to be acclimatized to higher vibrational thinking, living and honoring and knowing thyself. So your higher mind will ask for um, when you've had an activation, your higher mind and your higher self will guide you to what you need. That's why oftentimes when you're going through activations, you're led to videos like this because they help put pieces together that you have in your field that are ready to be harmonized and acclimatized. So we're constantly being harmonized, constant acclimatization to higher vibrational aspects of who we are. At the very same time, healing, calling in, accepting and acknowledging the vibrational aspects that we've moved through all timelines all planets all bodies all forms all roles all experiences that we've ever had to accept it's all about acceptance inclusivity so the atom is what metatron said is the inclusivity of the one's allness 
So we are the micro macro source creator. And so why releasing judgment in every way, forgiveness and compassion in all moments is how we create that inclusivity because we are that cellular experience. And we have many other timelines that we're constantly harmonizing into the now and why we feel those over-exaggerated expressive um, cycles um, when we're going through those releases. And those of us that are extrasensory um, in many different ways based on, again, the soul's themes, what we're here to create and be a part of the puzzle for humanity accelerating into new vibrational timelines. And it's very exciting. And so there's other channeled wisdom that we had here. Um, and we get to project. So again, now when you're going through all of those traumatic energies and ex um, anxieties, remember to ground in this now moment and then choose. Now is a different timeline. Now I get to create this. Now I get to create that. Now I get to create this because I'm using all of those experiences as my greater wisdom. We're releasing what no longer serves. We're coming into a new now, grounding and accelerating, and we're going to go forward. Because remember, these accelerations will continue and it will be on a faster pace. And so what used to be four days a month of releases is now going to be maybe every two weeks. And so that is how we are accelerating as beings of light. Can you, what is the highest capacity of light that you can prepare your bodies for? And this is what is being tested for all of humanity. For those of us that are in, um, you know, the open awareness of our, our light evolution, because we're taking, we've never done this before as a human collective, 7 billion people that are helping one another ascend. We're preparing our bodies of matter to carry greater light. That greater light is the highest inclusivity of all that we are as one through the acceptance and love and compassion of who we are with one another. And in our oneness is our greatest wisdom, our greatest oneness, our greatest love. Um, getting this crown activation. Thank you. Um, what else did they say? So working together for our 5D acclimatization um, is how we bring our stories together because there's so many of us that are of empaths that I've been experiencing for many, many years that just hasn't been talked about. Um, because I'm on the front line of many healing systems, many councils and many groups from all across the universe um, for planet Earth as we're preparing for first contact, much of it will be to bring higher vibrational healing systems and learning systems, growth systems, expansive systems to um, uplift and um, bring in an infused Christic experiential light, metatronic light, into all that needs to be evolved and, and be rewritten, if you will, and really creatively expanded within. And that's the really, that's the exciting part. And it comes within our every moment for moment allowance, acceptance, and letting go. Not here to control any outcome. <sighs> Just open and allow. Whatever's coming forward is meant to come forward. Your children are masters. Empower them, inspire them, uplift them, hold space for them. They're meant to have their experiences. Just encourage them and empower them that they are God, that they do know what they're doing, that they can refer to who they are at their higher self. They will be guided. And so here is about the Metatronic alignment. Metatronic alignment, again, is the capacity of who we are, a sacred geometry, sacred light, and all light programs. Metatronic alignment is that of the multidimensional Christ consciousness, which is a light template, programs of potential within the divine mind, accelerated through many and varied light activations. Now, again, when we say programs, it's a multidimensional word and term. It doesn't have anything to do with the old 3D, whatever those things are that always come up. <laughs> you know, what are they called? Conspiracy theories. <laughs> We're talking about program as the elegance that is source that our souls have chosen to take on roles, bodies, forms, planetary experiential guidance through galactic experiences that we chose at the soul level for soul growth so that we could understand how to return back to source for the highest capacity of unification through love compassion and forgiveness that's why we take on those expansive roles of destruction because we wanted to know that there will be a timeline in this very now moment where i'm going to have to remember myself as source and come back to oneness because i'm here to help others to not go through those experiences of destruction to not go through those experiences of self-harm and destruction and all of those programs of control and ego taking all, whatever it might be, because we played them all out. And those of us that have had those experiences through other timelines and other galaxies and planets are the ones that are really passionate about offering the expansiveness of who we are as experience. Not that it's right or wrong, not that it's any one path or any one guidance or truth. It's not. Everyone's truth is everyone's truth. All truth is all true. But these are the experiences of my unique individual soul, if you will, because I can see and feel and, and experience things at a multidimensional level. So I'm here to teach it and offer it and heal it. So we'll say that again. Metatronic alignment is that of the multidimensional Christ consciousness, which is, the, remember, the Christ consciousness is through our water body, the DNA, 
who we are in our chakras and the grid systems of who we are as crystalline beings. That is our ever promise from source that we can accelerate and evolve as light. Crystalline light, metatronic light, spirit, love. What has been known in our ancient sac sacred texts that only the few on this planet that have ever done that the masters that were the ones that ascended into light. That is them showing us that we can ascend in our pure light body through our Merkaba. That is the metatronic light of who we are when we harmonize 100% at who we are as light through the metatronic light. That is our crystal consciousness potential. Not everybody will want that, but that is why those experiences occurred with Elijah and Elisha and Jesus, all ascended. That's not how we will ascend. Some will, but that's not how we will ascend. We will ascend in our human body and we will ascend as a collective of one which is the light template program of potentials within the divine mind accelerated through many and varied light activations. Remember, light activations come in many forms. They come in through the DNA activation through your higher self and your soul, through grid activation. They come in through solar, um, solar flares. They come in through um, many of the galactic councils. Thank you, Octorians are coming in right now, taking, um, taking um, grand um, appreciation in us, honoring them when they're placing activations in our fields and in our bodies for us to awaken to higher versions of remembrance of who we are. These activations are just remembrances of who we are. But again, we said earlier, if the emotional body is not um, upheld in its healing and grounded in the body through its acceleration process, it will be hard to understand the allness and the inclusivity of allness because it's still not healed within the older programs of polarity and individuation. That's why the emotional body must be healed because as we accelerate, it will cause great psychoses because those wounds haven't been healed yet. They're still sitting in trauma. Thank you, Arcturians. And again, through many and light activations, the light activations come in many forms, as we just said. Again, program means multidimensional things, light, programs, galaxies, bodies, forms, councils, groups. It's all for the evolution of light, all for the evolution of all that is species, all of the evolution of the joy of God to, for all of us to experience all that we want to experience. That's God's blessing to us all. And also done through the sound, varying harmonics of light. And remember, light is of varying infinite experiences. We don't even understand the capacity of the elegance that which is light. There's so much about light that we have no idea about. Light is the evolution of source and it's infinite and eternal. There's so much we have to explore, it's so exciting. And through light and color and so much more that are determined by the awakened ones, purity of intention and connectedness through inclusivity. Again, the atom. Micro, macro, your heart, source creator, you, source God, who you are, the higher self, the soul, no thyself. We're gonna say that last sentence because it's really important. <laughs> through the varied activations of light, sound, the varying harmonics of light, color, and more, all are determined by the awakened one's purity, and intention of connectedness and inclusivity. Everything that is before you, can I include it? Can I be connected with it? Am I grounded in my connectedness with Gaia? Can I connect with Gaia? Can I honor Gaia? Can I connect with my human beings? Can I connect with all that is? And why? Why? <laughs> this is really exciting. Because you're a soul of infinite parts and beings and bodies and forms and templates and experiences. And when you move into a 5D experience, you're seeing yourself, knowing yourself and exploring yourself in all the varied timelines that you are in all bodies and all forms and all roles that you played. And you can't help hold yourself back because you're still in a wounding of guilt and shame about who you have been and who you are. Do you see the elegance of it all? <laughs> Do you see the infinite threading of our grandness and our potential of awesomeness? It's really exciting. I'm so excited. And so we thank you for um, all of the beautiful experiences. And remember, you're a soul of many capacities and we gotta start offering it in the exploration of who we are, the exploration of who we wanna be. Anything that you're coming up with that causes you fear or anxiety or trouble or confusion, you have a tribe, connect with us. Our Facebook is always there. We have weekly classes that are there for those that want to continue the exploration of who they are as sacred light, understanding and honoring the body as sacred light, learning how to harmonize and anchor 
and um, bless the sacred bodies, direct who you are as the destiny with source, creating your own unique destiny, not anybody else's, constantly being called back to center of who you are as sovereign and being the leadership and the guidance of you with your teams. And we have classes every Saturday for those that so desire and want to feel more grounded and more in awareness and more in control and self-clear and self-driven self and self-aligned in their own path. And because it can be quite, um, it's, it's quite an experience of unknownness. <laughs> We've never gone through this before. And so we do offer weekly classes and bi-monthly classes for those that really want to direct their um, spiritual allness into a directed path of vocation service and abundance and um, and wealth and health well wealth and health healthiness um, that many of you have come to play I'm so grateful to be um, a guide for you um, in private coaching sessions um, we open many great portals for your own healing and for your own capacity to direct yourself into greater dimensions of play and many of the councils that are working with you thank you spirit that's working with you to expand and explore who you are and that's what I find through all of my offerings. This has been a long video, but it's really important for family health and wellness. And to understand why people feel the anxiety that they do. They're higher vibrational beings that can feel and sense things at a far ground capacity that um, others around them. And we need soothing. They need soothing. And so just honor that within the children. Have them come forward with the expression of their emotional body. And have them play and, and have you know, greater tickle time and play time and fun time so that they ease in their fears and their capacities. At the end of the year, so really take greater time outside to play, have more picnics, um, have more grounding and play time, um, having them talk about their dreams, um, honor their dreams and their emotional body, and hold space for them through empowerment, inspiration, and encouragement, as well as yourself. Call in those that you can rely on for soothing when you're going through those release periods monthly in your own ascension cycle. Um, and... Um, we were talking about private coaching sessions to remind about the link and the um, thank you so much for those of you that know who you are, know who you are, you know who you are, for sending in your donations. We love you so much and I'm so grateful. And um, I send you love and um, beautiful rainbow tickles and appreciation and gratitude for your donations for us and all of our beautiful offerings. We love you so much and we just love to offer our experiences and our explorations for those that so desire that are really tuned into the heart, um, Christ consciousness, knowing ourselves as the most expansive beings ever <laughs> on our planet that we can allow ourselves ever expansive playgrounds of, of gardens of God, gardens of source, gardens of spirit that we each get to create and explore. Thank you with spirit. So grateful. So grateful spirit. And so mother and father are just offering a beautiful tip. They're saying, Joanna, remind them about the gardens. Thank you. That to, um, to honor and give ourselves time to really ex um, appreciate and accept who we are in the mirrored reflections of them living through us. They are so very proud of us. They are so very honored of us to constantly navigate um, everything that's placed before us and to always return back to light, to always return back to the sacredness of accepting who we are and to constantly being re-navigated to new paths as they open up to our potentiation. Remember, what you thought your path was six months ago or a year ago is totally different now because new timelines have come. We've cleared so much. We get to call in right now, every now moment, every new day. This is what I want to experience. So focus on the experience. So focus on the vibration that you want to explore. Joy, bliss, oneness, inclusivity. How can I intend this for my day? How can I see the peace in all people? How can I see the God in all people? Experience and call in those expressions for yourself to explore throughout your day. That way you're constantly always in alignment with the higher self because that's what the higher self wants for you. To constantly explore, experience, and express yourself as love and light and see it in all others. And that is the seeds of the gardens of God that we are all each seeding and sowing. Thank you, dear lightly one. Thank you, Mother, Father, and the Holy Christ consciousness. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a final word from Metatron and the councils of light that would like to bring through? Thank you, the etheric chambers that would like to come through and counsel. Any final messages for the collective that are coming through um, for the collective? Thank you. For those that so desire, just choose to open your heart to receive. Thank you.
So they're 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 offering that we um, they would like to remind us that to accelerate through your own experience of your own acceptance of who you are is um, it does you disservice. You want to be able to be at peace and to be still and to be as present as possible and to really soak those remembrances of who you are. And the acceptance of who you are in all moments and to really soak all of those experiences and all those roles that you've had, the bodies that you've had, the worlds that you've had, the experiences that you've had, soak it for all it's worth. Don't try and rush through your experience of you. <laughs> soak it. Soak it for all it's worth. Soak the appreciation and the acceptance of you. If you can just choose to slow down and why as a collective you manifested what you did with the experiences of illness and trauma and war, separation so that you can slow down and experience your own acceptance. That's the key. Accept yourself. Don't rush through it. We all know what that is like, isn't it? When it doesn't really feel good and you're experiencing five traumatic timelines, you can't wait for the density and the pain to stop. Example, don't rush through it. Honor yourself. Honor yourself for how brave you are and have been in those timelines of exploration. Honor yourself for the roles that you chose to take on for your collective. Honor the roles in the times where you chose to show your collective there's better ways to call in inclusivity and acceptance. And each of you have played those roles. Accept it, honor it, call it in. Have, be, have yourself be one with it. Don't rush through it. There's much to be learned in the darkness and in the shadow. That's why it's all your oneness. It's all you. It's inclusivity, the center of all atoms. That is how you would catalyze and accelerate something new. You want to get everything that it's worth so that you can choose with the highest capacity of intelligence, so that you can choose with the highest capacity of your Christhood what is good for you, what is right for you. And that is when you harmonize with the ever aspect of the higher self. The higher self knows all of you. The higher self is guiding you to your all of you. Does that make sense? As you're harmonizing you, your higher self is saying, no, there's an aspect here you cannot forget. You must call it in. And you're going to continue to manifest attractions and everything outside of you that you think is outside as this aspect keeps mirroring to you what you have not accepted and taking your time to expand within because there's something more there for you. If you are a master, you will keep going back to it until you accentuate, until you appreciate everything that that is worth. Because that's mastery. You don't want to skip over it. Your higher self knows all aspects of you. And this self of you that wants to become the higher self, harmonize with the higher self, is saying, no, let's get over it. It's been too painful. It's too painful. It's too painful. Those are the traumas that need to be healed. That means there's still healing to be done. And then you sit with it and you be one with it. Call forward that trauma. Call forward that pain. Call forward that separation. Call forward those wounds. Call forward the guilt. Call forward the shame. Be with it. How can I learn and be all in this inclusivity of guilt and shame and blame? Allow it to be felt. The emotional body and the healing of the emotional body is so key. That's how you harmonize with the allness of who you are, the inclusivity of who you are, and you accelerate in your metatronic expansiveness. We say accelerate. They're showing what accelerate means. It doesn't mean what we think it means in 3D. We say accelerate, meaning just that you have the capacity to take on more light. It doesn't mean you're going faster. It does in the essence of how the cell oscillates. But it doesn't, when you accelerate and you allow yourself to rise to higher frequencies, most high vibrational beings spend most time in presence and meditation. They're not busy doing. They're doing through the consciousness of their allness, their consciousness of presence. It's not what we think it to be in, from 3D egocentric doing and getting. Doing and the getting. We're stepping outside of that. We're allowing ourselves to accelerate and just the ability that we have capacity to call in light, to be light, to harmonize greater 
realities at a greater speed because we understand what it means to be present through the full acceptance, through the full honoring, through the full appreciation of all things in between. It's all inclusive. You don't want to skip any steps. Thank you. I'm clearing through that. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. There's a lot of clearing there. Thank you. So take it easy on yourselves. Be gentle and harmony with who you are and the pace that you are going. There is no right pace for every single person to be matching with one another in their pacing. You're meant to move and flow at different paces and different, different reality experiences. And you're meant to go away and come back together. However it will be is, an, is our organic, divine, elegant plan and system. So trust your higher self. Trust the becoming of your higher self to go at your unique pace, stand in your unique truth, stand in your unique intentions of what you are here to create and explore and express and experience for you. Source has your piece of the puzzle all figured out and will offer you the infinite array that is the potentiation of the all, not one set plan. It can change and shift all the times that you want to create with Source. And again, remember, we go back to the, the most important experience of inclusivity. It's because of the purity of your intention to know thyself as love. That's what that means. When you are harmonizing, thank you, Merlin, the intelligence of who you are as love. Love is intelligent, make no mistake about it, because you know and you have compassion for and you have the expansiveness of all things in between that experience. You don't want to rush through it. You want to be able to appreciate and, and soak it for all it's worth because there's so much within it. That is the wisdom. That's wisdom for all higher vibrational experiences. So you're releasing all judgment because you understand the highest depth and the wisdom, the expansiveness that compassion holds within it of your inclusivity, of your bringing it all in and just nurturing and loving it whole. And so call in those shadow aspects, call in the inner child, spend time with it, honor it, nurture it, value it, love it, be, be, be timely with it. Soften, be present. Because many of us, <laughs> my experience, we can feel things picking up and speeding up. And we gotta really focus on grounding, being present, being, being really patient and timely, just being present. Everything will go in how it's meant to go. Your higher self knows what your higher self is doing. Just slow down. And honor the gentle hand of compassion to those that are finding themselves in great confusion and pain and trauma. Because none of this is being taught or showed or told into the expansiveness of who we are as beings of light. And there are some. We don't have numbers and it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're showing me numbers right now because people are wanting to know. <laughs> that... There are those that want to know, well, is it like one in three, one in five? It doesn't matter because then it places you in again a, a, a game of separation and segregation. There are those of us that are conduits and crystalline energies that are here to heal through the multidimensional bodies and the grids that we have as crystic energies. And to sense and bring higher vibrational information, wisdom, and intelligence through those communication systems as the epicenter of light that we are. And there are highly expansive experiences within every time that we call in soul fragments to call in those timelines to include and heal, call in our oneness. But at the collective level, there is much imbalances through the emotional, mental, physical, and etheric spiritual bodies of our cosmic bodies. And why we're taking it to a new level. And that's really, really exciting really exciting. So thank you, dear lighter ones. For those of you that like to donate, again, thank you to all those that have donated. This has been a really long video, so feel free to break it up. Listen to it again. There's lots in there. There's lots that the teams um, impact in there. Those of you that are healers, we know who you are because you come to our classes and we're private clients. And so we thank you for your courage and your, your excitement to, um, to seek that experience of who you are, that exploration of who you are. And I love you so dearly. You know who you are. My heart is with you always. And we're always co-creating other vibrational realms and dimensions. And we thank you so much, the Arcturians. Syrian Pleiadians, Light Councils, and all the Galactic Federations and the Star Councils and the Nature and the Gaia. Thank you, Gaia, for your holiness and the shamans and the inner and outer earth shaman energies, the Hathors, and all of our nature elements, the fairies, the pixies, and all of our oracles of light, and our beautiful ancestors that are always constantly guiding us, Mother, Father, God. We have so many teams and beings with us. So explore, dear lighter ones. Center within who you are. Slow down. Be present. Understand the emotional healing that we're all moving through and how valuable the emotional intuitive bodies are for our co-creation, our manifestation of higher vibrational experiences. We love you so much. Bye, dear lighter ones. We love you. And we would tickle. Bye.